same time try and focus on that area maybe a little bit more up and down as well and just adding sound to our breath for a couple more seconds trying to connect to that ujjayi sound And maybe setting an intention for your practice today. So if you want to dedicate it to something or to somebody that needs a bit of attention or your energy, this is the moment to decide what your intention is. And if you really don't even want to think about that, I suggest a grounding rooted practice. So grounded, rooted. So breathe in now with that ujjayi sound a couple more times, giving yourself time to decide what intention you have for your practice. Okay, let's do one more breath together. So when you're ready, exhale in to prepare. And breathing in through the roots, all the way up the spine, hovering above the head with the breath, with the attention. Squeeze the mula randa, all the anabanda, and bring your chin towards your chest. Hold your breath still, and then blink your eyes open if they were closed. Then let go of mula randa, let go of your stomach block. Lift the chin, and relax the arms to your sides. So we're going to start breathing the arms up and down. So breathe in, look up, stretch up. Try and let the head go back if it doesn't feel uncomfortable. Exhale, bring your hands down, bring your chin down. Try and relax your shoulders. And again, breathe in it. Through the nose, all the way up, palms together in a namaste. Exhale, down. Bring the chin down, relax the shoulders. One, breathe in it. Interlace the fingers this time. See if you can press the palms up and look forward so your ears and your arms are in line, your palms are up. And you're trying to inhale, lift the shoulders up. As you exhale, see if you can slide them down and away from your ear. Just a couple of times, breathe in. Shoulders up, exhale, shoulders down. Let's do two, breathe in. Exhale. Last one, breathe in. Now as you exhale, see if you can bring your hands behind your head and just Slowly push your head down, maybe doing a figure of eight, so you go right and left, just lightly. So you can find any points that nibble you, and maybe you want to stop and breathe in those areas. Just do a couple more figures of eight, just relaxing the head, maybe the shoulders, maybe start incorporating a little bit more of the shoulders rolling down, getting it into the middle back, and then stretching the arms up, Stretching the head so that it's been parallel to the floor, interlacing the fingers still, and then looking forwards and anchoring the left hip down as you go to the right. Remember that I married you, so it might be a bit confusing. Inhale back to center and exhale. And just open up the ribs, open up the lungs, open up the heart, ground the hips, breathing in. To the center, let's do one more each side. Exhale. Try not lower the chin. Keep your ears and arms in line. Inhale back to center. Last one. Exhale. Inhale back to center. Nice. Release the arms down. See if you can just press the hands into the floor so your fingertips are pointing towards you. And lift the hips up now. So you're bending your knees, coming into that cross leg position if you're not. Push your hips forward. So you can lift your chest so you're not sinking in. You're pushing your heart up. So you can drop the head all the way back if your neck doesn't hurt. Lift the heart, lift the hips. Anchor those knees and shins down to lift up each time a little bit more with your heart, with your hips. One more breath there, guys. Try and let go of the head if you can. Inhale. And as you exhale, empty your lungs, suck your stomach in, round the hips, and walk yourself forward, holding that exhale for a second. Relax the head, try and really anchor those hips into the floor. Try and just feel gravity putting on your head down. So you're trying to relax the neck, feel the eyes are also relaxing. <laughs> just breathe there, about three deep breaths, up and down your spine. And 
And on your last breath, just shift your weight forward and come to all fours. So we're going to cat cow. Breathe in as you look up, open the chest. Exhale, roll the spine. So do that about three times and take your time to really feel the spine moving, the lungs open, looking up. Exhale, roll the spine, that's two. One, breathing in, looking up. Exhale, roll the spine, that's three. Now press your toes into the floor, come into your first downward dog and keep your feet about hip distance apart today. Try to just pedal your feet or your knees so that one bends, one stretches and try to get comfortable into it. Remember you can pause at any time, relax the head. Ideally your ears and your upper arms are in line. So don't bring your chin too far near your chest or too away. Yeah? Just find lines and try to keep them now. Anchor the heels down, breathe in. And as you breathe out, roll into a plank. You try to do the spine as you do that. And then breathe in, coming back up. When you're ready, lift in the hips. Exhale, we're rolling two more times. We try and shift the weight forward. That's two. Inhale, all the way back. Exhale, remember to make sound as you breathe. Hold it there, three. Come to your first chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. So come down and then sliding forward, you're coming into a little cobra. Open the chest here. Try and hardly put any weight off your hands. Squeeze your elbows together. Think of your long necks. And just breathe. Look up or close your eyes. Think of your intention. Breathe in from root to crown. Breathe in out from crown to root. Two more. Breathe in. in. Breathe in out. Last one. Breathe in. Good, breathe out, forehead down, press the floor away. Come from a plank if you can, into your downward dog. And then do 10 little bounces with your feet still hip distance apart. And the bounces are with your chest though. So try to just bounce your chest very lightly, lovingly towards the back. Slide the shoulders down, relax the head, shake it maybe yes, maybe no. And then we're going again, breathe in it to breathe out and roll forward, that's one, yeah? Breathe in, go back. Exhale, roll forward, that's two. We're doing one more, breathe in. Breathe in out, roll forward, that's three. Hold it here, chat around now, knees, chest, chin, of your choice, come down. Slide forward, see if you can lift the chest up, feet together, heels together, interlace the fingers this time, open the chest, look up, Hold it here. So it's three breaths. Palms ideally are together. Try to lift the chest, but keep the neck long. Really try to take the hand towards the back of the room. Breathe in. And breathe out from root to crown, from crown to root. Yeah, breathe in. Breathe in out. That's two. Got one more. Breathe in. And breathe in out, drop the forehead down, press the hands into the floor. We've got one more round, unless you need a break, just try and bounce again. Your downward dog, maybe feet together this time. If you want, you can come into a child's pose, so if you need a break, whatever you need, that's the position to take. For five more bounces, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, roll forward. As you breathe out, dome the spine. See if you can shift your weight forward a little bit more. That's one. Breathe in, go back. Let me see it this time. Exhale, roll forward all the way. Try and ch challenge yourself. That's it. Two. Breathe in it. All the way back. Exhale, roll forward. That's three. Look for the chaturanga on knees, chest, chin. When you're ready, slide it forward and coming up to three upward dogs. So you're breathing in here. And breathe out, drop the forehead down, two more like that. Breathe in, come up. Exhale, that's two. Last one, breathe in, come up. Now as you exhale, forehead down, press the floor away, plank. Plank downward dog. See if you can hold this downward dog and bring your left hand to the outside of your right leg. Ideally, lower it down, so you want to twist into it and look under your right armpit towards the ceiling. Try to keep a long back. So stick your tailbone out a little bit more, Natalia. That's it. That's it. 
beautiful. Keep breathing there. Try and look at the ceiling if you can under your right arm there. That's it. Breathe in. Exhale. Twist one. Keep it going. Breathe in. Exhale. That's two. Last one. Breathe in. And now as you exhale, drop the hand down. Press the heels into the floor. You remember you can bend your knees. With your right hand, you want to go and get the outside of your left leg. Try and look under it. Try and hold that position. Looking under your left armpit towards the ceiling. Tilt your tailbone up. That's it. Breathe in. And breathe in now. That's one. Look at your knees, Eddie. Try and keep them equally bent. Breathe in. That's it. Exhale. Two. Lift your tailbone up a little bit more, Natalia. Breathe in. And then drop the hands down. We're going to press straight away. The left heel into the floor. The right foot comes up into a three-legged dog. About eight seconds, trying to square those shoulders down. Push the heel up. Try and keep that knee facing down, not up. And then rock it forward so your foot comes in between your hands. You're coming into a warrior one. So breathe the arms up. Look forward with the hips. Try to really open the feet so you're comfortable squaring those hips up. You try and reach up with your palms together. One day your arms in line with your ears and just hold it here. Try not to fidget with your eyes. Breathe in and as you breathe out, see if you can press that left heel into the floor a little bit more. That's it, Eddie. Now breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, sit a little bit further. One more, breathe in. And as you breathe out, stretch the front leg. See if you can just release the arms and roll down one vertebra at a time. So your hands go either side of your front leg, your right leg, and if they can't reach, you bend the front leg. Or you put books under your hands. Relax the head down. Really try and compress the chin to your chest and keep that back foot grounded. Square the shoulders, push that left shoulder forward and try not to fidget. We're gonna do three breaths there. Relax the shoulders as much as you can, bend that front knee. Exhale, see if you can go a little bit further using your core. Forehead to me, go and touch your forehead and your knee. There's a reason for it. Yeah, that's better. Breathe and then one more time. Now, lengthen your spine on your next breath in so that when you're stepping forward, you're going to lift the back leg with a straight spine pushing the floor away. That's it. Try and be square so it's a warrior three. The knee faces down. You're going to drop the foot down and then exhale it up. Three times. Drop the foot down. Put your hands on the floor. Bend that bottom leg if you have to. And then stretch the leg up. Last one. Drop it down. Stretch it up and hold it there for about eight seconds. You can release the arms if you want to. Stretch the back. Open it up. One more second. And that's it. Hands in my Stay maybe. Three, two, one. And step it back. to a Chaturanga of your choice. So you're going down. Knees, chest, chin, or full Chaturanga. Three up the dogs. So breathe in it. And breathe in out. That's one. Breathe in it. And breathe in out. That's two. One. And as you exhale, forehead down. Press the floor away. And come into your downward dog. And here you're choosing. Feet together. Or feet separate. Try and bounce it or breathe through it if that feels better. About 10 little bounces. Okay, let's go with the left leg, same thing. Lift the heel up. Try and keep as square as you can with your shoulders. Hold it here, drop that bottom hip. Inhale and exhale. Try and get a little bit higher if you can. And then on your next exhale, step forward into your warrior one. So breathe the arms up. Stretch as much as you can your arms outside of your ears. Bend the front leg. Stretch the back leg. Push that back heel into the floor. That's it. Focus the eyes now. Breathe in. And see if you can stretch the back knee a little bit more in that belly. 
that's it. Breathe in it. Ground that heel. Exhale, two, one. Breathe in it. And now as you exhale, stretch the leg, drop the arm, so just roll. Like you're doing your Pilates, vertebra at a time. And make yourself comfortable here. Maybe you need to narrow the feet. Maybe you need to bend the front leg. Definitely stretch the back foot into the floor and the knee. Activate the back thigh and just breathe there. Remember, you're looking for a neck compression. So you want your forehead to touch your knee. Even if you have to bend it, that's the aim. C shape in that spine. Now really pump the stomach. As you breathe in, it goes out. As you breathe out, it comes in and up. And again, breathe in. Breathe in out. Last one, breathe in. And breathe in out. Hold it here. Just stretch your spine. Walk your hands forward. They can stay on blocks, on books, or whatever works. And you're lifting that back leg, yeah? Try to keep your spine straight like you would in a, yeah, in a warrior three. That's better. Stretch your spine by stretching your belly skin. That's the feeling you want to get. Better. And now you're dropping the foot down. Knee faces down and then lifting it up. That's one. Up. Down. And back up. That's two. And down. Hold it up. On the third one, you can release our hands into an arse. Try and open the chest. Hold it there for about eight seconds. Seven. Six. You feel like a back bend when you're doing this. Yes. Four. Three. Two. One. And drop it all the way back. Chaturanga, no choice. So you're stepping and then coming into your inhale upward dog three times. Exhale. Back down. Inhale. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Last one to flex the feet. Maybe hover into your downward dog, feet together. That's it, that's it. Breathe in. Or breathe out if that's better for you. If you would like the bounces, maybe do about 10 little bounces or three breaths. Try and push your heart back, but gently don't move your hips. Relax the head. Anchor the heels. Squeeze your inner thighs. Mulana, suck the stomach in. Use your stomach clock here, even to lengthen your spine. And when you're ready, we're lifting the right leg up again. So it goes into a three-legged dog. About four seconds. Three, two, and one. You can hold it here, or you can bend the knee and open the hip. Really try and get an open hip and a knee that reaches up towards the sky. Push that right shoulder down now towards the floor. Don't let it open, hold it there. About eight seconds. Lift that knee up a little bit more, guys. Seven. Six, stretch those arms in. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it forward, lovely. Come forward with that leg, and you're going to come into a warrior one, and then open it up into a warrior two. So you're going to look forward at the middle finger, that's your exhale. Inhale, you're going to hold your opposite elbows and stretch both legs. So as you exhale, you're bending the right leg, looking to the middle finger of the right hand, and then breathing in, holding your opposite elbows. That's two. And again, breathing out, and breathing in. Last one, breathing out, and breathing in. Hold it here, grab your opposite elbows. Then. We're going back. So try and lengthen and then shift your hips forward like we did, I think about two weeks ago. And then slide yourself to the back, to the back leg, left leg. As much as you feel comfortable with, hold it here, four seconds. Three, two, one. And then coming up into Trikonasana, stretch your arms, open them up, and then shift your weight forward. Push your hips to the back leg now, to the left leg and come all the way down with your right hand towards the front leg. That's it, reach up, look up if you can, just hold it there. So you're breathing deeply into your left lung and trying to exhale and rotate that left leg all the way up to the sky, really into the loops of the hips. Last breath here, breathe in it. 
And as you breathe out, circle the left arm all the way around and down to the straddle. So bring your feet so they face to the side of your mat. Yeah? So you're in a straddle position and you're just going to work with stretching your arms, looking forward, stretch back, and then walking your hands back and try to grab the back of the room as much as you can. And then walk your hands forward, stretch your back, and then exhale so you can walk your hands back a little bit further this time. Get your head close to the floor. About two more times, breathe in it. And breathe in it. Last one, breathe in it. Hold it here, try and keep that length in the spine and bring your right hand, and I'll mirror you now, onto the floor, and your left hand lifts. So you're trying to come into a rotation, looking up, that's it. Twisting all the ribs, but not the hips. You can keep your knees bent. Hold it there for seconds. Three, two, one. Lovely, let's go to the other side. Drop that hand down. Go all the way up with your left hand. Look up, push the floor away so you've got a straight spine. Notice if your left hip is lifted and try and push it back and down. Look up, hold it. Palm faces the left side of the room. And drop it down, nice. So you're just going to walk forward to the front leg, to the right leg, and do your chaturanga, yes? So we're going to step back, chaturanga, your choice. Breathe in, lift your heart up. Exhale, drop down. That's one. Two more. Breathe in it. Exhale, that's two. Last one. Breathe in it. As you exhale now, press the floor away. Come into your downward dog. Feet together. If you need a break, child's pose. Try and breathe or bounce for it. About three breaths from crown or from root to crown, better said. Or just bounce the chest lightly back, but don't make it very fierce. Just be gentle with yourself. Try and tilt the tailbone up, suck the stomach in, that really helps me. Okay, we've got the left side, yeah? So left leg up, three legged dog. First of all, try and really flex the toes and I'll give you an idea of how much that leg is turning out already. That's it. Push the heart back, lift the heel a little bit more. And now bend the knee. Try and keep it that high, open the hip, that's it. And come into that open hip position. Bending as much as you can, the knee and lifting it up, but pushing that left shoulder down a little bit more. Try not to twist your shoulder, that's it. Now hold it there, four seconds, three, two, one. And then step that left leg forward, four in one. Breathe the arms up and then twist yourself to face the side with your hips, with your shoulders, exhale, look forward, try and make it flow now. And inhale, grab your opposite elbows and stretch your leg. Let's do that again. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, stretch it. Look to the side. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Last one, exhale. As you inhale, hold your opposite elbows. Try and take your shoulders back, push your hips towards the front of the mat and see if you can go into a reverse trip muscle. Stretch those knees though, engage the thighs, push the feet down, leg from the back, hold it there, squeeze the glutes. Four, three, two, one, breathe in, come up, open the arms out, come into Trikonasana, push the right hip back, reach forward. When you can't anymore, hold it down, hold it down. Breathe deeply here, inhale, exhale in one, two more, breathe in it, try and lengthen the spine. Exhale, try and twist that right rib a little bit further towards the ceiling. That's two, engage your thighs a little bit more now, breathe in it. And breathe out, circle that arm all the way around. And into your straddle, open leg position here. Relax the head down. See if you can grab now either your toes with that yogic grip 
or maybe stand on your fingers or your heels. See what works for you. Try and bend your knees if you can't get there and try and get your head close to the floor. Just breathe deeply there. Try not to fidget once you've found your position. And see so you can get your head to try and go towards the spacing between your feet. Bend your elbows to help you get there. Breathe in and out. Use your belly breath. So as you breathe out, suck your stomach in and get closer, I promise. Breathe in. in. Breathe out. Let's just do one more. Breathe in. See if you can go a little bit further as you breathe out. Now hold it here. We're doing the same as the other side with an option of bind. So you're going to push the floor away with your right hand and with your left hand and lift your right hand up. Inhale here, hold it here. The option is to take the right hand all the way behind your back. And then try and grab your right hand with your left hand going under your leg. You're still in a twist to get there. Yeah? You can use a diamond band or you can try and find your fingers. Now you're still with your body towards the right. Yeah? And looking up towards the ceiling. Try and stretch both your legs as much as you feel comfortable with. Hold it there. Four, three, two. One and release the position. Let's move to the other side. So you're twisting with your arm up. That would be option one. And if you want to go further, that arm, that left arm goes behind your back. Then your right arm underneath you. And you try and grab your fingers. And if you want to see me sideways, I'm getting here. Yeah? And then I'm twisting. I'm twisting and looking up. Using my breath to get the twist a little bit more deeper. One last breath, breathe in. And breathe in out. Drop the hands. I'd like to hold it for another, um, another position here. So you've got two options, have a break if you need it. You're gonna bring the hands back so they're behind your feet and try and get your head on the floor by bending your knees if you have to. The option would be to also try and push the floor away and test a tripod headstand. So if you feel comfortable with your tripod headstand, this would be the moment. If not, you just stay with me in this forward strap for about 20 seconds. So you can play around either or. Try and squeeze your elbows any towards each other like a chaturanga. So your elbows should be here like a tripod, right over your wrist, yeah? Hugging in towards your forearm. That's a nice one too. Yeah, you can get in through that position too, you want. Let's count 10 more seconds. Looking good there, nice positions. Lengthen the spine. Nine, good. Eight, seven, five, four, three, Slowly try and control the coming down with the legs if they're up. If not, just hold it there. Lovely. Walk to your front leg. Step yourself back. All the way back. Nice stuff going on there, guys. Well done. All the way down into your chaturanga if you want one. If not, go straight to child pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Drop it down. That's me. Breathe in. Lift it up. Breathe in. Now that's two. Last one, breathe in, lift it up, breathe out, press the floor away, come to your downward dog of your choice. Ten little bounces and then a child's pose. Yeah? Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend the knees down. And just relax in a child's pose. First forward, walking your hands forward, trying to ground your head to the floor. If it doesn't touch the floor, maybe a block under your head will help. Try and get as much as you can just to feel the weight of your head. So you're stretching your neck even in this position. If it does get to the floor, then it's the forehead and the tip of the nose, remember. That's what you want to touch. And then you're breathing in, up the spine, Breathing out down this one. 
Let's do about two breathing in. Holding the breath in, the attention on the crown. Breathe. Maybe one more thinking about intention. So breathing in. And breathe. And here just walk your hands to the right and stay in the child's pose, but we'll be trying to stretch that abdomen into the right corner of the room. Your chest bone is in line with your right thigh, that's a good way to measure it, and you're pushing your hips towards the left side of your heels. And then the left shoulder wants to ground down, your head ideally one day will touch the floor. And just breathe through that, trying to square your shoulders to the earth. That's it. Do two more breaths now. One more. And then walking back to the other side. I think somebody wants to get into my flat. I bet it's the postman. Can you hear the jeep? That's a bell. It's not very nice one. I think I need to change it. Hey? <laughs> Three deep breaths. Yeah, breathing. Breathing out. Try and drop that right shoulder down if you can, sweat it off. Hips to the left here, remember. To the right here, so to the opposite side, to the other arm. One more. Okay, nice. Come back to the center. We've got one more sequence to do. So just lifting the hips up. These are all options. So you're pushing the feet down, feet together, ideally. Push the heart back and just bounce it back a couple of times. So the chest is going back, relaxing the head, just like we did before. So we're going to lift the right leg up, three-legged dog, stop the bouncing, round the left till you peel down and just hold it there. Try to really square your shoulders off. That's it, leg from the spine. Four more seconds, three, two, one. Now bend the knee and open the hip. And you're doing four more seconds with that hip open. Yeah, that right hip open, hold it there. Now the option is to stay here or to tip it over into a wild thing. So you could come all the way back with feet on the floor. That's it, nice, reaching up, looking up, push the hips up, bend both knees and both feet are going to be parallel, like in a tabletop position. Reach up or back, nice face, that's a nice position. And then see if you can tip it all the way into a three-legged dog. That's the right leg, and step it all the way forward. So you're coming into your dragon, okay? Bringing your hands inside of your right leg, dropping the forearms down, trying to maybe see you can hold the knee up just for a while. Maybe pushing the floor away, or deciding if you want to relax the head, but really keep those shoulders collapsed into your armpits. Don't let your shoulders be wide up. When you need to, when you want to drop the knee down, you've got the option to stretch the arms forward or to the sides. It makes it a little bit more challenging. Let's see where you want to go. Breathe into the hips. Exhale, try and drop a little bit further. Feel the weight of your hips. Try to squeeze that right knee into your right shoulder. Don't let it turn to open just yet. Work parallel. And then push yourself up, open the chest, and walk that right foot, open the arms towards the left side of your mat. And into pigeon, yeah? So just gently drop your head down. You can bend both legs or you can keep that back leg spread. Just make sure that you're square in your hips. That's it. Lift up, stretch up, neck in the back of the neck. You want to maybe close your eyes or look up and do the breathing up and down your spine. Try and relax those shoulders down. Open the arms up if you feel they're riding up. That's it. Breathe in and out. Exhale, two more. Try not to fidget, really. Try to be disciplined with that. Breathe in. Breathe. 
plasma. Now, as you breathe out, see if you can walk forward and release totally into that hip open. Forehead on the floor, on a cushion, on your forearms maybe. The option also is to bring your palms together and take your hands behind your head. That's it, like Namaste. Elbows together, Namaste behind your head. And that would be the beginning of King Pigeon. You know, when you bend that back and you can try to grab it with your hands, that's kind of the prep for that, which is quite a hard position. Even, yeah, I need a big warm up to do that one. Try and just relax as much as you can for two more breaths then. On your next breath out, just push the floor away. Step yourself all the way back. Plank, chaturanga, yeah? Down, inhale, lift up three times. Breathe in, come on, stay with me. We've got one side to go. Exhale, release. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, drop it down. Last one. Breathe in, lift up. And then flex the feet, push the floor away. Come into your down dog, turn your back. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there. Lift the left heel up, three legged dog. Go through those three positions. Drop the hip down, square the shoulders off. Then bend the knee. Start opening the hips, but not the shoulder. Lift that knee up high, a little bit higher. Drop that left shoulder down, square it down. And then when you're ready, if you're ready, tip it over. Plant your feet on the floor, square your feet to the back of your mat, and then reach up or all the way back. You could even take it to a wheel if you wanted here. Hold it. Yeah. Four seconds. Three, max, two, one, and then see if you can come back with your left leg up and step it forward into your dragon. Big step forward, that's it. Decide where you want to go with your dragon, either the knee up, or straight away you can drop it down and just release here. If it's up, just pay about stretching forward and back with that heel. Keep the knee stretched. That's going to work more the groin area, the hip flexor. Be gentle. Just bring the knee down if you feel it's a little bit too much there. Okay, walking the hands up and back. Just open them up so your left foot is in between your hands and then walk your left foot towards the right side of your mat. You can bend both knees and come into your pigeon. That's it. Or you can stretch back, stretch, front bend. Arms wide, legs, single chest up. Try and keep your shoulders right on top of your hips. Use your blocks, that helps also. So if you have two books, two blocks, just lean on them. Keep them wide, yeah. Breathe in and out. Now try to keep your eyes either focused, up, down, or closed. And visualize that breath in from the root to the crown, hovering above the crown, and then going back down into the earth through the spine. Let's do one more breath here. Inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, walk forward. So take it slowly. Try and roll that right hip down towards the floor. Don't let it open up. So you should really one day, if you anchor that hip down, one day reach with your right groin, the mat, or at least the right thigh. That's where you're going with that leg, yeah? So when you roll it down, that's it. And then your arms can be forward, palms can be together behind your head. See where you want to go. Hold it there. Coming back to maybe your intention, who you dedicate or what you dedicate the practice to. 
So one more breath. Breathe in. And breathe in. And when you're ready, push the floor away. We've got one last chest of down that to do. Go on, let's be strong. Push it back. Try to hold that all the way forward. Point your feet. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, drop it down. That's one. Two more. Breathe it. Lift it up. Exhale, that's two. One more. Breathe it. Lift it up. Exhale, drop. Push. And go back. Feet together. Relax the head. Ten little bounces. Go on. Nine. Eight. Look at your hands, bend your knees, and just jump forward to lay down. So we're laying down and try to use your core as you go down vertically at time. So you're rolling back, trying to squeeze your inner thighs as you do that. And take your time, unless you need to put your hands on the floor, keep them hovering above the floor. Press the hands into the floor once you're lying down, bring yourself into a lap. So if your plans are working for you, You've got your brooch here. That position is a big one. Careful with your neck there, my belly. Don't push either here or your, yeah, you don't want to hurt yourself more. Or your feet can be on a wall, so just monitor that. Ideally, plow is feet behind your head, hands down or interlaced. Closing our eyes again. Trying to breathe here a little bit more shallow. But still focusing on maybe the intention and the breath. And then sliding our hands onto our lumbar spine. See if you want to come into a shoulder stand. And this would be, again, up to what your neck is feeling. If it's hurting, then you come down and put a cushion under your hips, the legs up the wall, or you just hold it with your legs, trying to drain them. So the important thing is that your legs are above your heart here. Just trying to release all the blood easier down towards the heart, making it work less. Nice, nice positions. I like your candles, strong core guys. See if you can, if you can reach your arms to the sides, Try and really hug them in and lengthen, lengthen the hips up. Lovely. So hold it here. See if you can bring now your feet into a namaste. Open your knees out. And this would be a happy baby, Nadalia. If your neck is hurting, listen to your neck and come into a happy baby. If it's not, it's all cool. But look after yourself. Nice, you can put your hands on your knees if you want to, if you're in that um, shoulder kind of namaste position. That's it, and look for balance there. Push your knees forward. That's it, nice, hold it there. About eight seconds, seven. Lovely, guys. Come out of that shoulder stand by opening your legs out in a big straddle position. So you're doing a plow with a straddle, or you can do a straddle lying down. Those are the two options that you want to try and see what's working best for you today. Try to really hold that position with wide legs Ideally, if your plow reaches with the feet on the floor, your straddle plow will also. So make yourself get there if you do reach there. That's it, Eddie. Nice. Couple of seconds there. Breathe deeply. And then keep in your straddle position. Just roll yourself down if you're in a in a shoulder stand, and let's all come into happy baby. Just swing your right with your hips to the floor, bending your knees and just rocking right and left. And just letting 
the hips relax. Try to keep the sole of the feet pointing up and the knees wide, yeah? Your hands can be inside or they can wrap all the way around. See what works for you. That's a little bit harder though. And push now your feet down. Try to push your knees to the floor. Just very lightly push your uh, hip bone also down. So your tailbone, your pubic bone down towards the earth as you do that. Long neck, maybe close the eyes. And then just release the legs, give them a shake. We're going to do um, either a wheel or a fish to finish off. And then a little twist of your choice, yeah? So for fish, I'll guide you through it. If you're good with wheel, you can come into a wheel in your own time, yeah? If you're confident in it. For fish, forearms under your hips, stretch your legs, and lift the heart up. Try to get the head to touch the floor by opening your elbows. And then either look towards your third eye or close your eyes and just hold it there. As you breathe, you want to imagine that your heart is lifting up higher. As you breathe out, keep it high. So every breath you are going higher. Let's count about 10 seconds in whatever position you've chosen. Let's go. 10. 9. Keep lifting that heart up a little bit more. Go on. 8. 7. 6. Remedies are bound to fall and surround us from the garden to the farthest. Pray you're made of stardust. Find your healing in the music. Reach into the chest, roll on the back of your head. Reach your head to the floor and just see if you want to do an eagle twist or just a normal twist. If it's an eagle twist, it's the left leg over the right. Maybe double wrap it or single wrap it. If not, just keep your legs like that. Yeah? And you want to let your left drop to the right, if it's the left leg on top, and look towards the left arm that reaches by your side. Shoulder height is a good one. And turn the chin all the way around. One day, your left ear will touch the floor. And really turn in the head. Now pump as much as you can air into your left lung, and use your left rib cage to twist you around a little bit more. And just hold your breath in. Just feel that pause as you breathe in. Breathe out and try and move a little bit further towards the left of your body. A little bit more towards the right, to your left. Squeeze your inner thighs. Whatever I'm not. I believe in bending back for the next inning. My job strip back into the messages. And then come back to the center. Change your legs round with the cross. And drop your legs with your right arm, with your right leg on top, towards the left. Right arm reaches to the right side, shoulder height, palm down. And you want to turn down your head to the right so that your right ear one day will touch the floor. Don't lift the chin too much, try and knock it down. Just breathe there. Use your right rib to help you twist and use your stomach. Blow it out and then blow it in or squeeze it in medicine. Walk in with grace. I know your face and I trust your hands. One more medicine woman. Medicine man. Walk in with grace. I know your face and I trust your Coming back to the center of the legs of the arm. Just hug your legs in. Do a couple of of circles with your legs, so massaging your lumbar spine. See what feels good, either rock, circle. And then just take a moment to see if you want to do anything else. So you might want to do a headstand or you might want to stretch your neck, do a twist, sing and on, whatever you feel like doing as a moment. Stretch your legs. If not, just slide the legs open and just hold your savasana, relax the shoulders down. Try to squeeze the shoulder blades together and down. Feel the back of the neck long and look for that stillness. But give yourself time to just listen to your body first of all. See if you want to stretch anything. See if you want to release any tension you might feel, even when you're in savasana. And 
and just remember that before you drift away, you don't have to listen to me. Um, maybe you're enjoying this moment, just stay with it. But um, try to make sure, scan the body. There's points in our body that hold tension. So just see if you can observe and try and relax any points you might feel that are still kind of grippy. And maybe starting with your forehead, with your eyebrows even. See if you can release or relax or stretch the forehead area. The sensation is of smiling. And think about the jaw. So see if you can let go, even open the mouth a little bit. Release the jaw. Even the corners of the lips. Then the heart space, so compassion for yourself mainly. Others, we're always compassionate or mostly compassionate with others. Often we need to work on being compassionate with ourselves. So just try and melt any kind of feelings, sensations in the heart. Same with the solar plexus, so there is fire, determination. Just try and let that fire just fade away while you are surviving. And then think of your hips, emotions, especially relationships, family. See if you can just release any tension and feelings you feel in the hip area. And just stay with that feeling of flesh hanging on your bones and a release of any feelings that you might be holding with every exit that it brings. 